Have you predicted what you think is going to happen during telophase? Home kids, we basically just reverse the whole thing at each pole. So check it out. Everything that happened in prophase, we reverse. So let's just say telophase is reverse prophase. But at each pole. That's interesting. Like you had like prophase. Okay, let's condense all our chromosomes. Let's get rid of the nucleus. Nucleoli, peace out. Let's get some centrioles and their spindle fibers. Like stuff's all happening. All of that is happening. So you can do metaphase and anaphase, line them up, split them out, and then reverse. Reverse prophase so that you end up with the original cell all over again. Look, our chromatin is condensing. Again, they've drawn them like dots. Not a fan, but that's how they're drawing it. Did I say our chromosome is condensing? It's uncondensing. It's unwinding. The chromosome log is unwinding. Would you rather wind up or unwind my yarn log? I know what you'd rather do because we'd all love to just unwind a yarn log for fun. That could be a stress reliever. We should do that with ice cream. Okay, our centrioles are gonna disappear. That's cool. The nuclear envelope reappears. All the things Rehappen. Now, I said telophase and cytokinesis. This picture doesn't show cytokinesis very well. Okay, it doesn't show it at all. But I'm going to draw it in for you. What starts to happen is that the cell membrane sort of starts to pinch in. And as it pinches in, it's ultimately going to pinch off and you're going to end up with two complete cells that go into what phase? Uh-huh. They go into the gap phase. Okay. How can you tell the difference between something in telophase and something in interphase? Well, you actually can tell it often happens because um, you often can see, mm, I don't know, I'm just going to show you this one because this one looks very much telophasy to me. Don't you think that looks telophasy? The DNA is going to the edges. Um, I'm going to mark it as telophase. Telophase, let's see, I would argue Oh yeah, this is the one that we weren't sure if this was anaphase or telophase. It's late anaphase or early telophase. We can go with one of those. This one, I would say, is in telophase. It looks like it stopped moving to me. It looks like it's reached its end. Now look, this, okay, I'm going to draw this one in pink to just try to highlight this to me, I don't know, but it looks to me like we have a really faint midline. We have two reestablished nuclei. The nuclei look a little small, like it just looks like maybe that is late telophase and cytokinesis has started down the middle and we've ended up with two cells. This, look, look at this one. I would argue the same thing here. It looks like we have a cell plate forming down the middle. So cytokinesis is happening to separate them out. And those nuclei just look kind of like they got pulled to the edges. Like they're not relaxed and just chilling and doing their thing. That It just looks a little bit like that might be telophase to me. So I'm going to label that one telophase. I would argue that this one's probably telophase. Is that the one that I already talked about? Can you please tell me what I already talked about? 
dude, if only. I am recording late at night and I should not record late at night. All right. You made it through all the whole thing. So of course, when we make it through the whole process, guess what we do next? It's time for an animation so that we can watch the whole process from start to finish, the whole cycle. Let's go!